Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or a vibe that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and the videos I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you healed a part of yourself that no longer needs the pain. Stepping away from the comfort zone. And um, that, that's true. There's a lot of times that we hold on to things like uh, our past hurt, our past pain, um, because we don't forgive ourselves. We feel some kind of shame or guilt. Um, or if it's hard to forgive some other other people, it's because we feel like we're we're giving um, we're condoning the the pain that other people inflicted on us, especially if they haven't apologized. And these are the different things where we we held on to our pain like a best friend. You know, it was Ace Boom Coon. It was like backpack, backpack, like Door the Explorer, swiping no swiper. You know, different types of stuff like that. And it's just like when you're starting to heal that part of yourself, it is no way, shape, form, fashion easy to be able to do. It puts you through a whole mix of emotions. Like it puts you on a roller coaster ride like Final Destination 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Except the fact is, you know, if you really, you know, focus about it, you can live through that. You know, and um, these are the different things that are showing you, you know. There's a part of myself that is no longer needed. I've held on to these vibrations for so long. I've held on these certain beliefs for so long or um, hung on to these you know toxic vibrations for so long why don't I allow myself to know I deserve anything that's possible to uplift me you know anything that can give me joy give me some kind of hope peace you know open doors to uh, prosperity uh, abundance you know and and uh, you know just uplift in any kind of way you know you deserve those things but a lot of times when we have you know, they're, they're telling me to just talk about how, you know, we, we stayed on a certain vibration for so long. We, we were projecting a certain vibe for so long. We subconsciously and unsubconsciously projected on other people as we continue to project on ourselves. Um, allow ourselves to lie towards ourselves like, oh, everything's fine. Or we made up excuses for everything that, you know, we went through and, you know, all those different things. So it's just like when we when we go through these different things, we're allowing ourselves to step out of the comfort of making excuses for things that, you know, hey, we, we can heal from these different things. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, you're not going to be able to just, you know, hey, you know, allow myself to get out of the negative thinking. But just being able to know when it does surface. Is just telling you, hey, you, you've held on to this for so long. Allow yourself. Do you see the, the lessons that's coming out of these different things? Do you understand why these certain things happen? You're showing gratitude for it and you release it. Letting letting go, you know, placing love into it while you're releasing it. And a lot of times it's hard to do that. But it's just like, you know, for that to happen, for us to be able to show love and gratitude towards the, even the painful moments that we went through, it gave us strength to face those different things yes it was scary for us to be able to do but we we gained strength um wisdom you know knowledge about ourselves, about our surroundings surroundings not just about ourselves but other people um allowing ourselves to not take anything personal um just being able to understand that you know hey th this showed me so much about myself it showed me so much about so many other things and it allowed me to separate from that for myself and it allowed me to project my power, project love, compassion, understanding. Even when there's things that are straight confusing, it just, you know, you get some kind of understanding out of that. And when you do that, that's a part of yourself that you no longer need anymore. You know, because a lot of times we, we're like, oh, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve this. But it's just like when we're saying that, a lot of times we don't understand when it's happening that way. And we're not receiving what we feel like we deserve because our energy and our actions are not matching up with the words that we project out like that. And these are those times it's like where the universe is guiding you towards those ways where everything that is for you and surpasses that that you, you assume is for you and there's going to be so much more. 
they are helping you get onto that complete alignment. Um, uh, you know, and you're receiving that enlightenment. You're receiving the wisdom. You're 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 allowing yourself to place forgiveness and understanding, placing love uh, where there may be in chaos and hate, negativity, all those different things. And um, for all those things that's happening, that's taking place, it really can give you that comfort that you truly, um, you know, you truly need it to be able to get towards that next level because it's like now you're at that next level and you're trying to understand what we're going to do with it. <laughs> you know, because a lot of times you're trying to say, okay, I'm here. Even when you have, you know, when you are allowing yourself to focus on all the positive that's going on in your life, that can be scary, especially when you're so used to diving deep on trying to analyze all the negative things into your life that, you know, it, it can't be changed. These are the different things that's happened. Allow yourself to let it go. You know, getting the clarity out of it and just, let you know, knowing it, 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 it met your needs in some kind of way and being able to make peace with it. And then when you're doing that, you're like, oh God, this is so weird. You know, I've been there where, you know, be different times where it's like so many different things has happened in my life. And I've been so focused on things that was totally out of my control. So focused on things that was not fair, you know. And then when it, when I finally allowed myself to understand why certain things had taken place, why I had to be able to go through this, you know, and what kind of lesson I got out of it and then did, it just brought me that aha moment like, wow, this is really what I needed, you know, and have emotional joy, you know, just where you're crying and just understanding this is why I had to go through this. This is the reason why I faced this. But universe made sure I was loved, made sure I was protected. Even when I felt like I was alone, I wasn't alone. Um, and it allowed me to go towards this with, with confidence and resilience in my mind, you know, even in my vibe, you know, just projecting that out towards that and not knowing when I'm doing these different things and being able to share my experience with other people is showing other people they can do the same thing too. And when you're doing this, I mean, it, it, it's just like I said, it's, that is no way, shape, form or fashion is easy to do, you know. When you see that you don't need this pain to keep you stagnant. You don't need to be stagnant to be stagnant. You can be able to move past this. You don't need this vibration anymore. You've overwhelmed. You know you overwhelmed. You know you overstayed your welcome. And a certain vibration in your life where it shows so many signs. Like this is not where you need to be. This is what taught you. This is what helped you. This is what healed you. This is where growth is taking place. There's a lot of times where you see different um, quotes where it says that God won't, you know, you need to move from a place that you can't heal where you place you've been sick. Yes, you can. You know, a lot of times we, we feel like that's not possible. I felt that way. And it's like, um, uh, when you go through those different things, the universe is going to show you it can be possible. And that's where the, I mean, this is where the strength really is being projected at because when you have no choice but to stay exactly where you have gotten sick and saying God's going to make sure you heal from those sicknesses that you got into your life. These are the different things that took place into your life. Though I'm going to make po impossible possible. I'm, you you doing the, um, the most impossible breakthrough to where when you finally get through with that, it's going to show everything that's drifting God on you. You know, and that's the reason why the devil tries his hardest to make sure that doesn't happen. Because he knows when you push forward through all these endless possibilities of going through these things to where it seems like there is no way possible this person can get through this and this and this and that. It's no way possible because of all the things that's being attached to this person. There's no way possible it can do that. And God is making a way out of no way for you. And he's using you for that battle. You know. The midst of it all, he's using you for that battle. And you're going to have that complete understanding where you're stepping out of comfort zones. And a lot of times it's like, how am I comforted by pain? How am I comforted by sorrow? How am I comforted by drama and chaos? I'm not comfortable by that. Then if we're not comfortable by that, why don't we allow ourselves to move? And that's showing us you, you've, been, you've been sitting in that vibration for so long, you feel like that's what life is supposed to be about. No. We can't sit up here and get mad, you know, we, it's just like, if we try to manifest something and say we want this in our life so bad, and then we get mad when it ha when it's not happening, did you have faith that it was going to happen, did you leave it to the universe, did you detach yourself from the way it happened, or are you allowing yourself to write down the manifestations and not work for it? And that's the main reason why things don't come in, in that vibration, is when you don't have faith, you don't detach, you, uh, you don't believe. 
or, or believe in faith is pretty much the same thing and you're not doing the work you know if you manifest anything and you doing all that is manifesting manifesting stagnation you know a lot of times we feel stuck even when we're not stuck it's just like even though we feel like things aren't moving in front of us it's making some power moves behind us you know and they always like trust the process trust the universe that's going to take place on the things that we told you we promised you something and you going to be ready to receive and for you to do that you had to disconnect from something that you no longer needed anymore it may be, may be different people this in your life it may be the way of your thinking how do you speak to other people are you being judgmental towards yourself are you talking down to yourself are you being judgmental towards other people are you talking down to other people and then these different things and it's just like when you become that person they don't let bs manipulate you you know uh illusions manipulate you lies toxicity manipulate you you become a powerhouse you know and they, they keep saying that in the universe powerhouse you are a powerhouse you are powerful you're more powerful than you give yourself credit for there's a lot of things that we fear that we may you may open a door to where you there's something you ain't gonna be able to handle and a lot of times it's like you may not be able to handle that but you, you come to find out you always could you know if you're well willing to give yourself that chance you always could and these are the different things is is taking place yes it may be elongated you know, um, it may take forever, but these are the different things that's telling you you're stepping away from that because you deserve that peace. You deserve happiness. You deserve ultimate fulfillment into your life. Anything, sky's the limit to you. It has, you know, unlimited access. It's all at your disposal. You know, they're always telling you that when you let go of that, when you, because it's like that pain keeps us at a certain vibration and we wonder why we get tired. We wonder why we got sleepless nights. We wonder why it just feel like doors ain't opening for us because we're holding on to something that clearly needs to be letting go of. And we work on that every day, whether it's through manif uh, uh, mantras, it's through affirmations, through prayer. Through, you know, our help from archangels, you allowing the universe and the guides, all of us, you know, the tribes is helping us in so many forms. You know, you go go outside, you may be going through the dumps or something, next thing you know, you see a butterfly fly through. Or you may be sad or something like that, next thing you know, you see, you know, some kind of a cardinal or a blue jay or an eagle. You know, especially with the daggone thunder beings, boy, they... they be, it is crazy because it'll be sometime I step outside my house and I could, I could be talking to the universe next you know the birds start talking and i'll start tweet tweeting back you like you send you just like you blur how they say clapping birds you know we <laughs> doing that with the birds and they communicate right back with you and it's, it's just like i remember i said in a video one day it was crazy where i was sitting up here talking outside to the birds just talking to the universe and next thing you know a bird just started talking and i was it, it made me think of a, a good friend of mine that passed away a couple of years back a year or two back and and then the next thing you know his face came up and I'm like is that you and I said if it's you make this bird laugh and I promise you I, I, I was being funny I never knew a bird could laugh and the bird ended up laughing and it, it gave me an emotional uh, uh, confirmation and gratitude at the same time and it shows you so many times you're not alone because a lot of things you're going through uh, and then they say I keep on looking at my, my cup and it says exactly says a step above the rest you know and it was just like they just got my attention I was like wow yeah it's true you know you step above the rest you know your, your 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 story ain't built the same like other people's your life your path is not built the same you know and that's why universe comes so harder on us and so like a lot of times it's just be it, it could be like take for example you for uh karma it could be something where we see people that you know really need to be hit hard with karma you feel it and you you know you just really doing something then next thing you know you clap back and you do exactly the same thing that they're doing but next thing you know karma hits you first before it hit them first and you're like why does that happen why you know i'm standing my ground this and this and this and that why does this happen to me and then the next thing you know the next thing you know it is just like telling you because you knew better I'm using you as an example to all these other things and a lot of times we try to understand why do we have to be in in certain situations that just feel like hell is breaking loose on that situation like a nightmare you can't wake up from like oh god can can you please just get me out of this situation a lot of god a lot of time god is using you for that battle to be that example where you're showing 
certain energies. It's not people. It's the energies that are attached to them. Certain toxic energies. Certain battling energies. You know, uh, conflicting energies. You know, misunderstood energies. You know, stagnant energies. All these different things. They, they will place all these different things on you. And you won't undo everything. But when you undo everything, you're going to appreciate every single thing that has taken place. Any Appreciate different things that... Uh, that is, is strongly connected with you in that way where you're learning lessons and you're showing others that refuse to, you know, move or whatever, whatever they're trying to do, you know, just being able to show them like, dang, you know, all this, this and that, because you get so many different, you know, you get them looks like, I don't put this, I don't put that, I put this on this person and how are they still able to go? It's by God. That's how you able to go. You know, there'll be different things that can happen to other people and it can fulfill that exact person but then it can be with you and that can be used for your highest you know all these different things and wonder why how you know you can be that person that gone through so much hell gone through so much setbacks gone through you know death you know coming back you know wanted death you know wanting back you know all those different things and they used you for that prime example of like I don't have to be dressed in my pain but I can sure enough learn from it I can grow from it I can heal from it you know, that's the reason why we have it. You know, it's just like, you know, it made me think about that, that song by uh, Eminem and Rihanna. What is it? I think it was Love the Way You Lie. I don't love the way hell anybody lie. But it was just like when you have pain and you're looking at a window, it's exactly how that window pain. You can, you can allow that to be your window pain or you can let that be your window joy. You look out the window, what do you see? Are you allowing yourself to grow? Are you allowing yourself to find different ways of how can I get out of this vibration? How can I get out of this level? I deserve to be happy. I want to be happy. And when you want, when the universe sees that you can say that, but they want to see, are you willing to put in work to prove that? Not just to them, not to your haters, not to, but to you. Are you proving that to yourself? You know, these are the different things where you are being watched. I mean, you, I mean, you got, they, cause they keep on saying you got angels, you got guys that you don't even notice watching you and appreciating you. There'll be different family members that are passed on many millennials back, millennials, whatever that mess is back, way back, you know, and just crying tears of joy, setting up, you know, like mass, setting up streamers and celebration, like my baby done made it, you know, it's like they don't put them on so much stuff and I got tired of seeing my baby go through all this, but you know, they got through it, I knew it, I knew we picked it, through. We, I knew we picked that right one, because that one made power moves, they, they, they scared them to death, you know, and you're doing that, and when you're doing that, all these different things is taking place into your life, you know, where it'll start clicking, it'll start making sense. You know, on why you had to go through these things because you're stepping out of that vibration of staying stuck. You know, there'll be days that make feel make you feel like, uh, like oh my God, I can't make it. Universe, like yes, you can. You know, just just take a minute, just take a minute. It's like this 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 adventure. Like this ain't no adventure. <laughs> it was like this is not adventure. They were like, get excited for what? I'm, it's like I'm scared. I'm scared. You know what I'm like? No, get excited. Get excited. And I know it's hard for you to even see about what you're getting excited for because you've gone through so many different things all at once. But get excited because the fact is when you finally get through this, you're going to understand why the enemy don't fought so hard. You're going to understand why the devil was always whispering in your ear telling you I was a whole lie. You know, oh, your life going to stay this way. Oh, he's saying you deserve this. You know, all those different things that, you know, the devil and the enemy want to try to tell you. You know, want to breathe death into your, your, your path and all that other stuff. And these are the different things you stepping out of your own way. And when you decide to step out on your own way where universe is saying they finally, they finally getting it. You know what you deserve. But you have to be able to prove to yourself, are you, are you feeling like you are deserving of it? You can say it all day. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have peace in your life. And you're doing the initial work. Not manipulating, but doing the initial work. You're allowing yourself to face different things into your life. You're allowing yourself to hold accountability for the things that you played a part on in your suffering. You're allowing yourself to hold accountability for all the different things that you took part in. You know, you being honest with yourself. 
you placing forgiveness up to God like Lord please forgive me for these certain things that I know not what I do or when I did I just thought I wasn't going to get caught but I know you watched me and I know you disciplined me and you making me go through it because you'll remind me of what I did back in some, some day you know what day it was at night what I was doing what position I was in all those different things and then when you show appreciation for it you know because right now karma clearing like I said before karma clearing you clearing your slate in so many different forms and when you're doing that it holds weight to it it places weight you know and you you pushing through it and when you're allowing yourself even when you feel like I, I ain't hold, even when you trying your best to hold it together you don't know how proud they are of you just because you trying to hold it together you're like look this ain't the day but I'm be okay even when it's not doing good I'm be okay. It reminds me of that song by Tasha Cobb and Nicki Minaj. He's like, you know, I can cry and be, you know, uh, a blessing. You know, there's, you know, miss the blessings in these times. You know, you're going through all those different things where you you killing demons. When you killing demons when you're doing that, you slaying demons when you're doing that. When you can sit up here and think positive throughout the day, you're slaying demons. When you allow yourself to get out of the bed and not be in that vibration where you're feeling sorry for yourself or you feeling like life just really can't get better and you allowing yourself, even if it's to walk around the block, you slaying demons. When you get up and, and just take care of yourself, brush your teeth, you know, wash behind, you know, wash face, whatever. You know, go down to the mailbox, come right back, you're slaying demons. Because you're getting out of that vibration of staying ordinary into that, into that routine. You know, because it, it's easy. It's easy to stay depressed. You know, it's easy to be mad. It's easy to be in that negative vibration of being negative. Speaking negative. Speaking negative on somebody's person. Speaking negative to that person. All that, That's easy to do. But what's hard... Is when you got so much going against you and you stand as you stand to represent yourself to move forward. You know, when you're allowing yourself to say, I'm gonna give it all I can today. I'm gonna push forward in the best way I know how, tired or not. You know, I don't like my, my sleep pattern has been off for the last few days. Last actually last two, three weeks, and still been trying to do my all. Even when I don't do videos, I'm doing something to help myself. I'm doing something to heal myself. I'm allowing myself to sit into my vibrations of sorrow and pushing myself up out of it. You know, and those are the things that's not easy to do. When you when you be transparent like that, you don't care who the heck hear you. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I might be looking deflected, crazy, and all that other mess, but I'm allowing myself to face it. I'm allowing myself to feel it. I'm allowing myself to go through it. I can't I allow myself to know I ran from my, my truth for so long. I ran from pain and embraced it at the same time and wore it like it was a badge. Like, I got the t-shirt and I had the baby. I got, you know, I got the bumper sticker to prove it. But I allowed myself to have that big scar. And I'm going to show you my big scar. I'm not caring about my big scar. You know, and being able to show it to people. And it's like, and I healed it. I healed it. And I'm proud of it. And this is the way I healed it. I allowed myself to, just allow myself to be able to. To face all my stuff and, and be unapologetic about it. You know, when you get out of that pain, you step foot up un unapologetically. You know, you do that. You allow yourself to be the best you you can be. You sit in your truth no matter what and who it disturbs. You stay in your truth. Don't sit up here and walk on head eggshells because you worry about how somebody's going to feel uncomfortable because you live in positive. Or how it bothers somebody that you're trying to go through change. You're trying to heal through change. That's not your problem. That's not your problem. You're glowing. And you're growing. You, When you have sat in pain for so long. It, it could have been your choices or somebody else's choices. Whatever. You know. And when you allow yourself to say, you know what? I deserve to be happy. Everybody's doing what's best for them. Let me do what's best for me. You know. The devil want me to stay mean. You know, he want me to stay mean. He want me to stay bitter. He want me to stay closed off. He want me to be in that low vibration. He just want me to just, ugh, 
you know but now it's like God has been cradling me this whole time been comforting me even through the midst of the storm even when I was going through things it just you know it, it, it's like my trials and tribulations felt like it was overflowing and overflowness you know all those different things and now it's just like when he tells you I was just waiting for you to have you had to go through a line of experiences you had to go through a line of pain deception hurt all these different things and then I'm gonna you, allow you to crack that code uh, when it's, it's showing you through spiritual awakening, ascension, kundalini, dark night of the soul. Everybody know what dark night of the soul is. And it seems like everybody hit dealing with it. And it is at an all-time high. <laughs> you know, you're going through that mess and it's like an all-time high. You know, and you're going through those different things. And then when you're allowing yourself to do that, you're really stepping out of that comfort zone of staying in pain. Because you're seeing, I don't need to hold on to that. But when I let go, and when I truly let go of that, give love to it. Because you don't saw so much in that pain. You, I mean, you seen, you probably don't seen a lot of things that a lot of people would have been like, Ugh, I ain't about to deal with that. I don't need that type of situation. I don't need your type of situation. You know, and be in that vibration. And this is at that time where when you, when you finally understand why these different things is happening... You will have a whole new appreciation for every everything that you have gone through because it allowed it re, re rerouted you to your power. It repowered you know rerouted you to your light. Being able to understand you you were in the storm, you became a part of the storm. You are the storm. You know you, it's like your vibrations. It's like we are children of a thousand you know thunders. You know, we, 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 I mean, we can create, we can create a whole hailstorm with it. Because I tell people, you notice that you one of those type of empaths that even the weather changes with your mood. You ever notice that you can be on fire. It can be hot as all Satan's toenails outside, hotter than a fat baby's behind. You know, you going through purging and all of a sudden it starts thundering and lightning. You on that vibration where you cold as I don't know what and it be looking like... I don't know. It's raining, you know, it's, it's, it's snowing in April. And, you know, one of those different things. And it, it's just like you have that powerful energy. You do that. You can see just how the world affects it like that. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Like I said, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. I would love to give a post notification shout out and a big welcome welcome to Divine Feminine. Much love to you and welcome to the fam. You know, um... What was I going to say? Uh, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. If you ever feel the need to want to reach out to me, it's all about spiritual networking. Just being able to help each other have that deeper understanding about our path of purpose, why it led us this, this way, what gifts that we embrace, you know, and just being able to see what we can do to contribute towards changing the world because that's what we're doing. By changing ourselves, you know you can believe you can change the world. You are one of those. You know, if you don't fit in this world, you were, you were meant to stand out. Okay, so just being able to help each other in that way, whatever we speak on is confidential. I help out the best way I know how. Um, if you're ever interested in podcasting or even listening to my podcast, I have that on my, my channel as well on my community page. And um, if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever you are facing right now to bring in whatever mayonnaise you're trying to bring into your fruition and whatever you're needing, I'm sending that towards your way. Whatever vibrations you need to uplift you to keep going, I'm sending that towards your way 20 million times fold. You know, hey, you keep working at it no matter what it looks like, no matter how bad you got to keep rerouting and going towards setback after setback, that you're being prepared for a powerful comeback. So you keep moving. If you got to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that. You know, but you jump back up and you get back on that horse stronger than you did when he got to boot your butt out. Okay? So you stay persistent and consistent stay woke never sleep on yourself you know the devil sees your light and potential so he does anything and everything to make sure that he can get you to give up and give in you tell him he a whole lie you got this kick kick rocks with no socks and keep on going and um uh, you got this okay you got this because he'll make you give up today just because he know that power potential opportunities is popping open tomorrow so you keep going and even through social distancing, make sure you get, you know, um, you give out love, light, positivity, words, wise, frequency. Just because you did that can really take someone a long way. And just for you doing that without any reason behind it, it's going to take you even further. So I'll see you on my next, you'll see me on my next video. And it's much love to you. Have a good one. God bless, I say.
Shalom. Namaste. Peace. Much love.